Oh, dang. Welcome to the warehouse. I'm Ooh. Rick. That's how they sound. That's exactly how they sound. I didn't uh, want to spoil it for you, but that is how they sound. Yeah. I keep forgetting that you don't actually fight this guy. He's really bad at his job. <laughs> He's looking at the, he hasn't stone. figured it out yet. Uh, He'll get there. Just give him a minute. Poor little buddy. Aww. Bless his heart. Yeah, this mm. is Pokemon Shine and Pearl. Pokemon Shine and Pearl. It's time to fight a, the blue hair group. Yeah, <laughs> it really is that. I thought that was a helmet. A trainer it does, who's it's lost. such a like mushroom bowl cut situation going on for everybody. Yeah, it's a little culty. It's definitely well, culty. What's, that, what's like a... I don't want to say the wrong thing, like a page boy or a squire cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the I point. Think, I think those have almost like a bob to them, don't they? On the sides, they oh, like the page flare boy out. Does. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I think that would just be a mushroom cut. Though usually mushroom cuts, I think, are flat all the way across. Like I don't think they have bangs. It's just a. I think a bowl cut. Sasquatch is thrusting those out in of the direction pets. of the problem. What was it? The, there's a movie. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. The Flintstones with John Goodman. Yep. Uh, I was like, I could swear that I've seen a movie where they literally use a bowl to give a kid a bowl cut, and it's Bam Bam. They give yes. Bam Bam a bowl cut with an actual bowl on his head. I'm going to rock your worldview. Is that a pun on purpose? The reason it's called a uh, bowl cut yeah. is because they used a goddamn bowl uh, yeah. to do it. <laughs> I, like, I assume that was the case. I was like, I know that I've at least seen one movie where they have done it on camera like that, and the kid was freaking out. It's like, yep, that's the one. Screaming Bam Bam! Well, the whole time. Admittedly, I've been to a barber who can do it, well, who does it without yeah. that stuff. I'm sure normally classically trained oh, people yeah, can, they just but if you want to cheap it out, you just slap something on there as a yep. guide and call it quits. Take this colander and I'll be with you in 20 minutes. Who thought that was like a good idea, though? The bowl cut? The yeah. stooges? Uh, also, why do we hold cocaine? children? That was what? probably a thing, but that's probably, uh, I'm going to guess, it was probably a thing out of the like um, depression. I was like, I'm not paying some guy yeah, to cut here, my poof. hair. All right, here's Grandma's urn. Just put it on oh, there for shoot. a sec. We'll be back. Welcome to the D-pad. Historical, <laughs> historically inaccurate, like, banter. Exactly. Well, exactly. It's just weird that we have, like, assigned certain hairstyles to be pretty much only okay for kids. Yeah, I, I feel... So or, when I was like, or, like, not to be really problematic and feel know. free to cut this out. But those same <laughs> styles apply to... I feel like that's got more to do with how other people treat them. Maybe than I'm not suggesting it or, or supporting it or anything. I'm just observing well, so it. When I was when I was a kid, I definitely like, we, hold on. We need to stop talking about this if you're going to cut it out. <laughs> no, I know. I'm no, not. This I is me stepping away from it. It's fine. White noise. Oh, okay, when okay, I was okay. when I was a kid, uh, when I was like nine ish, I really liked getting my hair cut as like I I knew it as a wiffle cut. I don't actually know what it actually, but it's like super short. It was like if you ran your hand through it, it was almost like not prickly. But it was like fuzz. It was almost like like a like a stiff kind of fuzz feel to it, like short, short. Okay. The reason I liked it, generally, is because I was like, oh, I go in the shower, go whoop, shampoo, don't dry my hair, and we're great. Yeah. But like, that is a real. That one only works for like sixty-year-old big, big <laughs> white guys <laughs> named like Stanley. So you haven't fully come who into own your a business with a bunch yet. of wrenches, and they just have that real, and they do that because like, well, I'm going bald, but I can still do this. I got my quarter inch of tennis ball fuzz that I can get going. I think there. I'm really getting an insight into how your sense of style has evolved. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I eventually was like, I don't like this anymore. I look weird. <laughs> I want to play in this space so damn bad. I'm gonna <laughs> leave it alone. You want to what? What's that? <laughs> I heard I want to play in this space. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. exactly what I said. No, you know what? I'm not wasting my effort on it. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell us about just like, I just love <laughs> like your take. Man, only children and people who want to make social pariahs, you know, <laughs> like, should have this hairstyle. That's not at all what I said. And he, I hope he puts what I said I'll back find in some, so I'll that find I a don't creative seem way to, like, we'll figure it out. In the way you <laughs> we'll just figure said. It, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> just like... I'm just saying, the only people you see bowl cuts on are the people I mentioned. Living with Why you is, is that? And also Edna Mode. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> just so we're clear, Dustin is the jerk here. I'm <laughs> oh nice. <my> God. <laughs> hey, look at this cow with a springy tail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna punch the that's, shit out of it. That's funny. <laughs> so anyway, I was listening to Alex Jones the other day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh. yeah, that's it, Rick. We're taking over the channel. Oh. We've hijacked it. 
<laughs> we have a we have an agenda, and we're here <laughs> to agenda. Oh God, um, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I invited Dustin. Does he? Does he even? <laughs> oh my God! If the user is not holding an item, <laughs> this is not that. Does good. he even do that? Like that show oh. and shit anymore. How I the hell know. should I know? <laughs> I just no, because my brain was like, is that an old reference now? It feels is, like it. Is, I'm like, is, is like Andrew about Tate anymore? the like replacement for that reference oh, at this Jesus. point? See, I'm, I'm so removed from, from everything. Fell I don't know any of this shit. Oh, is this a teleport puzzle? Yes, it is. A little bit. Killing yourself. But no, it's, just like, it's not as bad as it seems. I was honestly, just like digging for something to make this worse than the first yeah. thing that popped into my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, this one wasn't much of a puzzle. Yeah, this it's not as bad as, it's, as it looks like it's going to be. Yeah, but what about the rest of those? I like how your shadows reveal that you are, in fact, spiraling down from the ceiling. It's, yeah, it's a little, a little Doing weird. like a twirling routine, ballet. I'm like, this close to getting my promotion to commander. <laughs> I'll impress our boss by making you my newest trophy. My retainer is a little bit big. I I'm can't still, be seen with to, you. You have some problems. It's funny because views. I have a retainer, and I'm, I'm the retainer to the boss. <laughs> ah, there we go. Wormple. This is the retainer with retainer. Oh, <laughs> what is with? I don't. I have the same reaction. I was like, "What a wormple? Really?" Like, I make no mistake. I love wormple. I love the bug selection. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, when, yeah. like Beedrill is one of my favorites because I'm terrified of wasps. But like, yeah. why is this guy got to the point I'm where he is? I'm gonna be king of like, the terrorists. Right. Go, silkworm. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, it's like you might as well send out a menopod. Yeah, which yeah, I it's, assume no, is a thing that game. doesn't move. And like again. This could have been an opportunity to show us some of the Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Yep. Give us a challenge. Anything. Well, but no. I'm trying to remember if this is the game. Oh, I'm trying to remember how many new Pokemon were actually in Gen Four. <laughs> Pokemon Gen 4, is no, like Gen the 4 is about hundred. We all just quietly accept what they do. But so, so legitimate hate it. question: yeah. How many are they up to now? A thousand and fifty. A little over a thousand. There's a thousand and fifty. They made a, <laughs> they made a big deal. So the 999th Pokemon is one called Gimme uh, um, Give Your Cash. It's, called, it's a uh, shark, actually, and its only move is jumping. No, no it's a... Uh, um, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Oh, God. I think it's called Gimme Ghoul. And it Gimme is a ghoul. ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tiny, like, two-inch tall imp with a coin. And you find it in hidden places in Scarlet and Violet. When you do... You don't actually catch it. There are ones you can catch, but usually you'll find them hidden, by, hiding behind signs. And if you interact with it, it'll give you a handful of Gimme Ghoul coins. The way that you evolve are, a Gimme Ghoul that you've caught is I that... I feel like I'm on shrooms right now. Are you being nope, real? I'm being serious. Okay. Uh, you, it, once you, you can find Gimme Ghouls that live in treasure chests in the game, and those you can actually catch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, glad, I know. I'm glad you had it in the game, because I was starting yeah, to get as really As opposed to real life invested. when I caught that fucking if thing in my basement. If you own a Gimme Ghoul, Look, there's a gobble ghoul the right way there. that you evolve it is by collecting 999 Gimme Ghoul oh. coins. Shut up. And then many, leveling it up. And it's level 999? So when you find a little one, it'll be between like 1 and 5, but if you catch one, it gives you like 50 or 60. Still not great. Yeah. But also, I put like... 80 hours into into Scarlet and Violet. Into you do find them a lot. Into just getting <laughs> those coins. Getting no, coins. no. <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude. That's Is it good? Does it evolve into a thing no. that's good? Um, I haven't used the evolve form just because I didn't mess with it too much before and uh, I kind of have my team set. I'm so curious what a Gabagool looks like. What the hell does it evolve into? I can't remember the name of the thing it evolves into. That's the one if they had any balls, Pokemon 999 would have been missing now. Right. No. Anyway, sorry, what were no, you saying? I was going to say, it's like I love how like they'll put stuff in these games... And it's like you have to go out of your way to get it, and the payoff is almost never worth it. I don't think the like payoff the, has ever been worth like it. Like my favorite perfect example is Paul. What, what was it? Porygon, right? Oh it's yeah. It's like oh, you can. It's the only way to get it is to give key, Team Rocket so, a bunch of money. So this is Gimme Ghoul, little little. Oh, it's okay. a dude in a chest. Yeah, it's actually coin cute. Conide little imp guy. Okay, okay, okay. And it evolves into number one thousand is Goldengo. It is literally a Pokemon oh, made of a thousand coins. That's huh. awful. This is like that looks <laughs> awful. What an awful design. So case in point. <laughs> so it I has coin dreadlocks. Steel and steel and ghost, <laughs> which I think that's cool. There's enough of those in there. Yeah, oh, they, yeah, they do it, like yeah, making ghost ones like, kind of yeah. different. But like you bust your butt, and then like I got the stinking thing, yeah. and then you learn the, the terrible secret of Gen One. Mm. Oregon sucks. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So they they didn't balance shit for shit in Gen One. Nope. You know, the, I really learned this lesson most, I think, in uh, Zelda, yeah, Ocarina of Time, where you have to go through so much That's bullshit my favorite Pokemon game. to get 
Well, it's the same thing, though. You have to go through the fest fetch quest to get the, the giant's knife or the big Goron sword or whatever. Yeah, I think you get the uh, big Goron sword is the, is the trade quest. Giant's knife you can just get from Metagoron. Right, but you have to do so many things to get it. When you get it, you're like, it's fine. Like it It's hard really to use. It's, yeah. two, it's a two-handed weapon. I, so I think everyone ultimately goes back to the Master Sword. Yeah. You, need the you need the shield for certain You need yeah. the shield a lot. Yeah. Well, so especially it's like the mirror shield is a dungeon a item mechanic. for the spirit temple, so you need to be using that. Now, I know I bring this up every time yep. sorry, I oh, see this about, Pokemon. Sorry. Go ahead. Why did they make its face look like a butt? I know. Because right? it smells bad, and butts smell bad. It's symbolic. Anyway, please I could actually <laughs> believe that. Please Whoa. continue. Um, I was just gonna say, so, after... That really taught me, like, it wasn't fun to go through all those fetch quest steps to yeah. get the knife, or the sword, and it wasn't even that good in the end. And that's when I started being like, huh, mm -hmm. sometimes games aren't fun. And that, like, I learned yeah. that lesson from Ocarina of Time. Jump 36 years into the future. And now we're doing this, and it has gotten worse, not better. I think... I mean, this game doesn't have much of the. I, I don't know if this game has any fetch quest thing. Pokemon the is the no, most that there is about. is if you want to get spirit. What do you mean fetch quest? Like the whole damn game yeah. is a fetch quest. <laughs> <laughs> get the Go catch 150, then catch hundreds more, then uh, so if you want to trade with your friend, Pokemon. you don't have to catch anything in this game. People do want people do starter only runs of these games all the time, and we call I mean, them once sociopaths. you get it to a high enough yeah. level, it's probably. More or Easy. less, yeah. You know, like this would be one of the harder games to do that with, just because my understanding is that the the level increase by the end of the game takes a sharp increase right at the end. Well, good because it's easy as it's easy uh, and dumb so far. The champion of this game is notoriously widely considered the hardest, like not like the hardest trainer to fight in any Nuzlocke. Is it a dude we know? Uh, it is a lady we know. Okay. Our our a snot nose kid. Rude. Hey, hey. Do you have I happen to have seasonal no. allergies? Well then, yeah, <laughs> not a lot I can do about it. Here, oh, give yeah, me a ugly. Thing. I, his, yeah, he's on a. He's he's, he's got some stuff going. on. He looks on. like Hojo from he's, Final Fantasy. He's yeah, very sick. you know, you, <laughs> yeah, he's very sick. Did you ever play the remake, Dustin? Yes, good. I, I enjoyed that game very much. Second one's about to come uh, out. Speaking isn't of games January? that are fun, but we don't yeah. play. We should look. Uh, <laughs> he, play, he streamed the whole. thing. I streamed the whole thing. Good for you. I was planning on doing the same. And I was like, oh, I should probably play Final Fantasy VII first. And then we, like, we're doing Final Fantasy VII and it kind of pause. I'm like, should I just stream VII on my own and we'll come back to the Let's Play another time or what? Content. Yeah. We'll do some VII today. That would think that would yeah, be we'll all do some seven today. right? Yeah. Uh, what time is it? I gotta leave. You have to leave. It's not even three. <laughs> uh, it's uh, seven. Well, it certainly feels like it's later. We'll round this out this week of Pokemon yeah. and then we'll do some seven. Because I know you can't stay super late and I probably shouldn't. I think it's like, bang. Just like, no, bad yeah. guy. Yeah, no, it looks like it's just a. Yeah. Eh. Well, and when Down. you smack someone across the face, it's a dark move. Bold because that's move, keeping a Machamp out against a Kadabra. By the way, nah, I, you I'm know just what? So I'm I just didn't not, see what the levels were at, but I'm, I got like 10, 15 levels on it. Right. I think nothing makes me smile more than a fighting Pokemon kicking the crap out of a smug psychic. <laughs> well, and I have that dark move, so I can one shot him. Who do I? Where am I at level wise? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing pretty pretty solidly. Who needs yeah. the most love? I guess I should have him in front. Say goodbye to that dog. <laughs> 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 uh, where was I going? Left. Yeah. What's that? Hound Doom. Hound Doom. Yep. Hound Doom. So it's a dark fire or something like that. Yep. Awesome Pokemon design. Other than the fact that he's not that good and he doesn't have ears and it really bugs me. It's a very basic Pokemon design. But he's just cool. You know, it's not bad for that. He's but like, like Cerberus-ish. Kinda... You know, and like you can see where they're drawing from. And if he just had ears, I would hate him a lot less. Does he not have ears? He doesn't have ears. Watch. Yeah. You watch. Me? Yeah. Behold. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's not a fight. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a lover. Yeah. Is it gonna snap inside? I was or gonna, gonna say if they give now? it to you just to break it in that door. No, there's like there's two other doors that are. You're actually back to the start of the thing. Oh shit! So I should go no. back and then do the other door that I couldn't do. Oh, um, I thought you were gonna head over to the HQ. I can't get in there yet, can I? Don't, I don't you just collect the, the key, dumbass? Is that what that is? Yeah. So, oh, that's not what I thought was happening. I also, like, did a quick lap through the thing, and I was like, oh, right. Because there was one more door that I couldn't open yet. Yeah, there is one other. There is one door in here that that can be used for. I'm like, I'm surprised I'm paying enough attention that I remember vaguely how to get there, which is rare for me. Are we going to get it right, or are we going to get it wrong? We're going to get it wrong. Oh, no, this looks right. Here it is. Not bad. Yeah. Look at the big brain on John. Yeah. He's playing a game for babies. <laughs> His memory works. 
Dazzling Gleam. Which, I like, should, to be fair, legit prize. Yeah, for, pretty like, good. Just taking the 10 seconds. Pretty good, to go yeah. I'm going to go ahead and see do? if my dudes can That learn is dudes. one of the better fairy oh, moves of the game. But, Exhibit A, no ears. Oh, yeah, it's just got the horns. It just has the horns. It hears out of little if it holes. Had the, if it had just any. The horns little, are hollow and it hears out of little dots on the ends. I was going to say, how do we know his ears aren't in that? <laughs> oh, he just wears it, yeah. takes it off at the end of the day. God damn it, this sure. yeah, fucking I'm... mascot game. But it just, it bugs me. I don't know why. It really bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> Who was like... Fortunately, fire is super effective against bugs, so... Well, maybe it's business. just the positioning of the horns and the angle that he's viewed at. Maybe he has ears. <laughs> There's ears behind yeah, it. Yeah, like right behind it, like little... Like little he doesn't hear very well, but... He actually has like bare ears, so they're like rounded. <laughs> little round, yeah, adorable yeah, ones. That would be cute. Oh God! All right. Uh, there's a uh, there's a Pokemon fan game out there called um, this gym of mine, where it is a it's an original story, new region kind of thing, and you play as a gym leader. Oh, love it! And there's like a like a not like resource management, but like you are building up your gym, you're hiring trainers, you're and you pick at the beginning of the game. I guess you pick what type you want your gym to be. And depending on the type, they the give you a signature move. It's like, hey, if anyone beats you, you got to give out your badge and this. So the person whose video I saw of this did a fairy type gym, and they got dazzling gleam as their signature move. And it's like, all right, That's cool. The rules for your gym are: all of your Pokemon have to be the type of your gym, with the exception that you can have up to two Pokemon that aren't that type, so long as they have the signature move. All I'm hearing is my dream of finally okay. creating Hate City Gym. Yeah, you could legit do yeah, that. That sounds right up your alley, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in now that game, still do you, Sorry, is there like a whole world where you explore, or do yeah, you just you like explore around and do stuff until you have to catch Pokemon? You don't just like select them from a menu. And yes, get them, no, you right? do. Okay. You do have to go and catch your own Pokemon. Oh, boo! Make it yeah. easy. <laughs> uh, like it's I, an interesting concept, though. I do like it. I've seen some program. I don't know what it is, but it's Pokemon battles, and you get to just assemble your teams. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. Yep, I see those all the that time. That gets used online for like those kinds of battles. Yeah. Yes, and it's just like some of that. I assumed it would be in that spirit. No, not quite, fortunately. But why don't we get upstairs? We'll come back next time, and we'll uh, fuck these guys up. We'll see you then. Fuck them up. up.